our state and, and the message that really we've been trying to convey to the legislators is that uh, while this investment of taxpayer dollars in programs such as TAP um, I mean, comes at a cost, but it is truly an investment. And when all of these students will graduate, like their classmates, uh, they'll all be gainfully employed and con contributing back mm -hmm. many times over, certainly. I know I talk to a lot of students and a lot of my friends about how they're struggling or uh, their families are struggling with financial aid issues. and. Uh, definitely, it comes in handy when you when the state can say we can help you with this, and the fact that it's affecting over half of our students is definitely a big issue. Uh, um, one of the reasons why I came to Niagara was because of financial aid, and TAP was a big part of that financial sure, aid. Sure, sure. Really helped. It without it, I probably couldn't go to any. I'd probably have to just stick to a community college. Yeah. I commend each and every one of you for going there and doing what you're doing, and and actually keeping the word that the financial assistance is important. So. Uh, but you got a friend here, so you don't have to worry about that, because I, under I understood you. it first time. You. you know, when I went to school, I mean, I had TAP, I had financial work, you know, and I university wasn't anywhere near as expensive as it is today, but it was still very expensive back in 1974. So it was really TAP that, you know, got me out of NU and, you know, eventually got me here. Uh, so when, I mean, I, I, there was another priest that said to me at Niagara that, that um, a lot of the schools give you the academic part for, why? To get a job. Mm -hmm. But at Niagara, they give you something more.